Abraham got to get right with Melchizedek, right? They breaking bread, huh? The king of peace. And we got this in um, uh, the medieval history of the Israelites as well, right? That Traticus Pomeris referred to him as the king of kings, Rex Regna. He combined spiritual authority with regal power, yet essentially Prince of John is only a title and a name, which designates not a given individual, but rather a function. And I say, Drop Nation, you are carrying this function today. As a collective Mashiach, not as one man or woman, as a collective consciousness, God, you are the function. Thus, in Wolfram Van Etchenbach, in the tutorial, we find Preston John as a title, the Grail. <laughs> the Grail is the Preston, is the Melchizedek. As we will see, indicates from time to time, the person who must become Preston John. So, Nagas all the time say that. We are the true gold, right? That we're worth more than gold. Melanin's worth four hundred dollars a, a per gram. Like it's way, it's way more expensive than gold. Your melanin, man, right? So you're the real gold rush. And in the same way, you are the real function, and you are the real holy grail. Indicates from time to time the person who must become Prester John. The function, moreover, in the legend, Prester John designates one who keeps in check. We just read this, the people of Gog and Magog, who exercises a visible and invisible dominion. <laughs> what does it mean? You see clearly, figuratively, dominion over both natural and invisible beings, and who defends the access of his kingdom with lions and giants in this kingdom is also found the fountain of youth. I ain't got to go far to connect Preston John with the fountain of youth. Everyone's doing it. I ain't got to connect Preston John with King David. Everyone's doing it. We're talking about dominion over natural and invisible being. Fountain of youth. Quote, the dignity of a sacred king is often accompanied by biblical reminiscences. By presenting Preston John as the son or nephew of King David, and sometimes as King David himself. Say it with me. Body bad, body bad for the illusion. Preston John, the king, Preston John, descends from the son of King David. Or sometimes as King David himself. Now we're talking about the grail stone. <laughs> the holy grail, which is the function, which is you. Preston John is King David. Come, let's go. And notice, let's not skip this over, <laughs> David, since we're talking India, India superior, David is also called the king of the Hindus. And again, a character as big as Preston John or King David should be mentioned in all history of all continents, just like the flood story. And when you recon it, it is mentioned. We got a David and the Hindus. A biblical David, you got the Mongolian uh, David, you know, Genghis Khan's calling himself David, taking out King David, Raja Haraja Cho, David everywhere, Dawu everywhere, David, king of the Hindus, who was called by the people, Preston John. So even David, king of the Hindus, is called priest king, Preston John. Melchizedek. We're just talking David. King David himself. Story 
we can get into next time, man. But, you know, David and Odus, O-U-D-H, Odu, Od, the Bible story, the Bible story in Sanskrit. And the just king at the Afghan court, right? And we got how King David has his court and Jeremiah, uh, Afghan, um, Afghan Jeremiah's son, son of King Saul, is still welcome at the court. Of King David. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, similarities, right? I wonder why. Now we got this Khan father, great father, Batu Khan, Vatican typology happening today. Reflection, duplication, phantom. But the Batican is the house of the Khan. Then it became, you know, Batu Khan, you know, back to the Genghis Khan. And what's going on in the Quran? <laughs> we got the Arab Al Rashid. And like I said, Kish is who popped it off. Kish, who is the father of Saul. Does the adherents of this version maintain that King Saul had a son, Jeremiah, who had a son named Afghan, like Afghanistan. Afghanistan is a Benjamite man. Jeremiah died approximately at the same time as his father, Saul. Afghanistan secured a high position in the rule of King David and, and remained at the court so Afghana, son of Jeremiah, son of King Saul, remained at the royal court of King David during the rule of Solomon. So even after David, he still remained in the royal house of David. Now you got the Kish, Saul's dad, being turned into Arab al-Rashid giving instructions to spread Islam to the people. Now you got a Muslim missionary going on in the house of Judah through the Benjamin line. But originally, these Rashids were Arab propers. <laughs> this is a tribe of Benjamin, and Benjamin is a sinless man, according to the Gilead flow, right? One of four Israelites who died without sin, including Benjamin, Amram, Jesse, who's David's dad. When we talk David, we're talking David. And Afghana secured a high position in the rule of King David. He remained in the royal court. Receipts, my knife. So now you got this document, <laughs> you know, separate, substantiating document talking about King David, a Bible story in Sanskrit, and the just king at an Afghan court, <laughs> right? In the royal court of King David, talking Afghan. Because Jeremiah had a son, Afghan. Let's go to page eight, man. Let's go. We out of here.